The following is an excerpt from Money Grows on the Tree of Knowledge by Tracy Art Wyman, available from Quintessential Publications. Now, there were a few examples of predecessors, but really, historians consider the origin of coin money to be around 3000 BC in the temples of Ishtar in ancient Mesopotamia. It was created for use in a public religious rite known as, quote, sacred prostitution. The priestesses of the fertility goddess served her by offering themselves as representatives of her to male worshippers. It was thought that if the men simulated intercourse with the goddess, this would stimulate fertility in the land. A very important part of the ritual was the donation that occurred beforehand. The worshipper was expected to make offerings to the goddess in the form of wheat. This was fitting since wheat was the main agricultural product that they were asking the goddess to stimulate the production of. During religious festivals, worshippers would bring a portion of their yearly wheat crop to the temple. After being symbolically offered to the patron god or gods, the offerings were used to feed all of the priests, priestesses, and temple support staff. In exchange for their sacrifices, the men received one coin for each bushel of wheat, and each coin would entitle them to a visit with one of the priestesses. This is how the coin got its name. Shekel means bushel of wheat. The coin featured a sheaf of wheat on one side and a depiction of Ishtar on the other. This identification of money with wheat continues to the present day where words that translate as bread all over the world are used as slang terms for money. This is exactly how and why coin money was produced by the ancient Greeks as well. Beginning in 1000 BC, the Greeks minted coins as tokens given to the worshippers of Dionysus in exchange for the donation of a bull to the Dionysian temple. These bulls would all be sacrificed at the annual celebration known as, quote, the Sacred Feast, to which Dionysus himself was invited. Half of the meat would be burned in honor of the god, while the rest was shared by the congregants, all those who could furnish a coin as proof of their donation. When the large-scale minting of coins in Rome began in 269 BC, this too had a connection with the divine. The new silver coin, called the denarius, was minted in the temple of Juno Mineta, Juno was the wife of Jupiter. Mineta means to warn. This appellation of Juno's stems from an incident in which the sacred geese at her temple allegedly warned the Romans of an impending attack from the Gauls. The Romans saw Juno as the protectress of the state. The issuance of money was one of the activities in Rome that she was thought to preside over. It is from Juno's title of Mineta that the English words money, monetary, and mint are derived. The preceding was an excerpt from Money Grows on the Tree of Knowledge by me, Tracy R. Twyman, available exclusively from Quintessential Publications as an autographed and hand-numbered booklet in a limited edition of 200 copies. In this book, I demonstrate the occult alchemical connections of things like the U.S. dollar, the Federal Reserve, Social Security, Free Trade, Taxation, and Modern Consumerist Christmas. In the process, I get into the subjects of the Knights Templar and the Freemasons, ancient myths, demonic entities, child sacrifice, eating human flesh, and bathing in blood. I guarantee you that after reading this book, you'll never look at money the same way again. And now, while supplies last, you can get the booklet, along with a DVD featuring the first 26 episodes of my podcast, The Invisible Hand, for a total of just fourteen ninety-five, with free shipping to the U.S. and Canada. That's a $30 value for just fourteen ninety-five, And as a special offer for the holidays, I'll include a copy of my previous book on economic alchemy, Solomon's Treasure, The Magic and Mystery of America's Money, which you may have heard me discuss on Coast to Coast AM with Ian Punnett. Shipping to the U.S. and Canada is included in this deal as well, so that's a total value of $60, all for just twenty nine ninety five. It's the perfect way to treat yourself and your literate loved ones for the holidays. 